Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Raja Katipuna. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Raja Katipunan. Today is the memorial of Saints Jean de Brebeuf and Isaac Jogues, priests and companions, martyrs of the Church. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Emmanuel Alfonso of the Society of Jesus. Let us all rise and join in the singing of our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today our color is red. We recall the martyrdom of St. John de Brebeuf and St. Isaac Jogues and companions, martyrs in Canada. My dear friends, as we begin our celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we ask for God's forgiveness, for God's mercy, for truly we have sinned. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom, by the toil of Saints John de Brebeuf, Isaac Jogues, and their companions, and by the shedding of their blood, graciously grant that through their intercession the faith of Christianity may be strengthened by day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, though testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. All have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by His grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by His blood to prove His righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed through the forbearance of God, to prove His righteousness in the present time, that he might be righteous and justify the one 
who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle? That of works? No. Rather, on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does he not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles. For God is one and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Mm. Our response is, With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With, With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord, more than sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one <clears throat> comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they kill them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things. For they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. My dear friends, the gospel, the good news of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Taryn Stokes is already in her late 30s. She is married and have two kids. But this is a chance of a lifetime, and so she gives her all. She belts a theatrical piece and makes it her own. Within seconds, the four judges, almost at the same time, turn their seats around, amazed, enthralled by this anonymous but very excellent singer. She finishes her song with the judges giving her a well-deserved standing ovation. Two judges recognize her immediately. She used to sing with them a decade ago and were very impressed with her already back then, but she just vanished. Why? When her career was picking up, Tarin just smiled and simply said she got married, and her music had to give way to her family, especially her kids. I suddenly recalled my mom and other moms I know, and even dads, baka magalit si attorney, who sacrifice their dream and ambitions in life just so their loved ones, their families, can fulfill their own dreams and ambitions. Such generous deeds, such noble lives, to sacrifice oneself for others. Last weekend, my dear friend, Starin Stokes, won the voice of Australia. 
But what does her story have anything to do with our liturgy or the readings today? In the Gospel today, Jesus talks about the martyrdom of prophets. Moreover, today we remember the great North American martyrs led by St. John de Brebeuf and St. Isaac Jogues. They were French missionaries who all perished in the hands of the native Indians of what is now known as Canada. It is, it is said that their ordeal, their martyrdom, might probably be the worst, the most cruel, the most gruesome, the most sadistic of all time. When they were captured, pasintabi po sa mga kumakain, not only were they, were they tortured, but stripped naked, burnt. Then their hearts were carved out from their chests, and later their bodies were hacked into pieces and barbecued. But what was so strange about these saints, from the very start in their formation in France, they already knew the grave danger that awaited every missionary in these newfound territories, and yet they still volunteered. Moreover, Brebeuf and Jogues already returned to France for a brief vacation in the case of Brebeuf, while Jogues escaped an earlier captivity and torture that left his hands maimed. He lost his uh, two fingers. They were chopped off, but he was able to escape. And yet the two still went back to Canada and to their eventual death. Why, we may ask, what is it in martyrdom that Christians of their time or the church of a bygone era valued so much? The saints tell us it is in suffering like Christ that we become united with Christ. Union, total union with Christ, including in his suffering and in his death, that for the saints is every Christian's goal. And that is why they embrace martyrdom like madmen. We always hold that life is the most sacred and therefore absolute. But our moral theology professor, Father Archie Tengan, would correct us, saying, the martyrs teach us that more important than life itself is friendship, union with Christ. This mindset may be losing its appeal to the present generation, especially as the world and even the church becomes more secular. And yet people in love still learn to sacrifice, still make martyrs of themselves, like Taryn Stokes and many other parents, or the health workers during the recent pandemic, especially those who lost their lives, Indeed, my dear friends, if we open our eyes, martyrdom is not a lost tradition. It is still everywhere. True, not all are called to offer their lives like Isaac Jogs and Brebeuf, although in recent times many innocent lives are being offered on the altar of politics, such as in Israel and Palestine now, or in a government so-called war on drugs, not a uh, long time ago. No, many are called to be martyrs just for a day or two, or even a moment, and in small but unique ways. But we must celebrate these heroic deeds, for in the end they demonstrate humanity's indomitable spirit against all odds. And ultimately our sacrifices, big or small, builds the foundation of the future. Tarin's kids grew up more stable with a mom's hands-on love. The Indian tribes in Northern America eventually converted. We do not only stand on the shoulders of giants, but of martyrs as well. Or as the saying goes, the blood of martyrs indeed is the seed of the church. Let us now offer to God our prayers, our petitions. We ask our Lord to help us to be sincere in our actions, that our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in our lives, 
as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may avoid doing things for the sake of conformity or appearances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Victor Bapu Vitug, Anacleto de Les Badoy Jr., Dali Adiao Garcia, Dutch Yap Badoy, Marisa Agbulos, Father Jojo Fong SJ, Yayi Raiza Karasig, Moraine Ferman Fermano, Lu Sitaka, Marivi Gonzalez, Joyce Luca, Paulo Bautista, Robert C. Froy Dakulayan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Susan <clears throat> Isorena Arcega, Dorothy Ferreira, Marilu Tinaya, Rebecca Wasmer, Dr. Raymond Alonso, Junjun Badoy, Kathy Cardoz, Bonifacio Guisando, Sister Lita Sandico, Tesmeli Annie Hizon, and Giovanni Ong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Roger Beltran, Ingrid Natalia Bowan, Soledad Puzon Sandico, Jose Marie Omar San Juan, Raymond Ramos, Jack Bautista, Fausto Mendoza, Digas Alicpala, Manuel Antonio Nol Velasco. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Sam Rayala, Jopi Badoy, Aina Savilio, Malu Tria, Roy mm. Shoho, Lourdes Sadina, Rita Murdoch, Dr. Raymond, Judith, Angela, and Duane Alonso, Violi Chan, Orlando Adiao, Michael Rohrer, Brenda Escurel Malipot, and Colegio San Agustin Bulacan. Dennis Stan, Chloe, Annie, Francisco, Hans and Susan Santos, Carlos and Monica Salazar, Nate and Hans, Annie Bautista, Rosalina Malipot, Bebot Araneta, J.D. Ong, and for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we include in our prayers today all the martyrs in our lives, all those who have sacrificed that we may enjoy the lives we now enjoy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, help us to come to worship with a sincere heart so that we may be able to approach you in spirit and in truth. We ask it through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands, that it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all rise. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. As we venerate the passion of your martyrs, St. John, St. Isaac, and their companions, 
Grant that through this sacrifice, O Lord, we may proclaim worthily the death of your only begotten Son, who, not content with encouraging the martyrs by word, strengthened them likewise by example. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, St. John Isaacs and Isaacs, Isaac Jogues and the Brebeuf and companions poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to hear your bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My dear friends, the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesta, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. May you welcome them into the light of your face. We pause to pray for our dearly departed. Have mercy on them, Lord, and have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, we now pray to our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us now pray for peace, peace in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirits. Especially we pray for peace in Israel, Palestine, and in Ukraine. 
and in Myanmar. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other Christ peace. Peace be, peace with, you. be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of our Lord bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by the example of blessed St. John, St. Isaac, and their companions, we may bear in our hearts the marks of your son's charity and suffering and ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we go, my dear friends, uh, we've been speaking about martyrdom. So you may have heard that just the other day, our film, Gomburza, which is about... <laughs> thank you. Which is about the martyrdom of uh, three priests in the Philippines that triggered uh, or inspired the Philippine Revolution. So it it has become an official entry to the Metro Manila Film Fest, one of the 10. So we would like to ask you to patronize uh, this film. This is uh, <clears throat> a film five years of six years in the making. So six years of martyrdom for <laughs> Jesuit, for Jesuit communication. So please help us. Uh, uh, it, very crucial is the first three days if, uh, the uh, cinemas don't see any crowd, uh, they will pull out. So please watch uh, our film, yes. Gomburza. Yes. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, the Mass is ended. Let us go serve the Lord and one another. Thank Thanks be to God. Siya, awitan siya, maghihigtas 
ng Diyos na sa krus ni Jesus, ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos. Langit at lupa, siya'y papurihan, araw at tala, siya'y parangahalan. Ating pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan, Alleluia! At isigaw sa lahat, kalingan niya'y wakas, kayong dukha. Oh, my God. 